Hello everyone, Ash here, and welcome to another episode from that Cranky Craft server. As you can see, we are in the sphere, uh, in my my nether rail station. Uh, just not much of a rail station at the minute, because my, my cart's gone missing. <laughs> and every time I come in here, I keep forgetting to make a new one, and I never have any iron on me. But, uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's not the point. The point is... Um, we have lots of progress to show you this week. I've managed to spend a little more time on the server than I uh, normally can get on this week. Um, and I've been really, really going with the building. So I figured this was the best place to start a little tour of what we've been up to so far. So, in we pop. And... Do, do, do. Oh, step out. Right, there we go. Straight away. All right straight away you see there's a, a big difference uh, we no longer step out just onto a plain hill <laughs> we've got uh, all sorts here obviously as you can see uh, far from finished uh, but things just starting to take shape so what we have here obviously um, is our portal room um, so I built up, we've got a couple of little fires going on there um, for when you're entering the portal. I didn't want it I, wanted, I didn't want it to look too rough or anything around this area. You know, you're tempted to put in the lava and netherrack and stuff like that. It's like that, you know, this is the entrance to hell and everything, but um, I didn't want to go for that for this portal because it doesn't wouldn't really be in keeping with the, the whole clean sort of aspect of the of the pimp mansion. Um, so but I've put in a couple of nether racks um, obviously lit them on fire and then just covered them up because I really hate the netherrack texture <laughs> in general. So we've just got a couple of nice fires there. Uh, so as you're going into the portal that's what you see. As you step out of the portal uh, I've installed a couple of emerald blocks there straight away so immediately you know you're stepping into some glam. <laughs> um, and then as you can see we've got a jewel staircase that goes up to our main area uh, and all this brick up here which we will show you we'll go up there in a minute um, and then both these they don't, don't go to two different places it's just the same as you can see they come up around there and they spiral around and they both go to the same point up there um, but that took a while <laughs> um, but I think it looks really cool um, and then oh behind here we see this is a nice place to have some kind of decoration I haven't quite decided what's going to go in there yet but uh, yeah something cool needs to go in there uh, so from here you can see I've left this is quite deliberate it's not just unfinished but I've left that space free because uh, what I'm planning on putting there is something which I actually forgot to double check but I think I heard that we're going to have nether brick half slabs in 1.5 which should be out, I think, some point in February. Um, so that space is reserved for those because that's uh, then that inst that gives us some uh, some nether material, which is in keeping with the portal type room. Um, but it's also you know it's clean enough to fit in keeping with the rest of the the uh, the build. Um, I don't intend to, for for it to be the brick ceiling. That's just the flooring of the area above. So we're going to need to figure something out there. So obviously a long way to go and eventually this will all be walled in. This will pretty much be the edge of the room along here and this area will be pretty unused. Uh, so let's head upstairs because that's only one thing I've been working on. We go up the stairs. Um, a lot of finishing off to do, you know, this is just, just plain at the minute. I was just getting the structure in place but obviously we want decoration and, and lighting and so on all needs to be addressed in these areas but you come up here and uh, I should have timed this better actually so it wasn't night time but <laughs> sneak preview there but first of all you come up here and we enter uh, what will be a viewing platform uh, so this looks out onto you'll recognize this our lake down there uh, not much to look at at the minute but um, Obviously, I intend eventually. I'm just making sure a creeper's not going <laughs> to sneak up on me. Obviously, I intend uh, to add stuff, you know, around the whole area. Like I was saying um, in the last episode, it's all about having a, a setting, not just a single building in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so once the main build, uh, or even before it's finished, uh, I don't know. But once the mansion itself is is done, that obviously that gives me projects to work on uh, around about the area. 
Uh, just ignore the dirt there, obviously I was just pillowing out to, to take a look at it from a distance, uh, which in fact we can do that now. Let's go around this way, and then as you can see, the, uh, the little sort of water fountain area we were working on last episode has been completed. So if I step out to here, there we go, you see the viewing platform there, and then you can see the portal is down there, See, I've walled all this off, all this area. Um, there's no way, the thing is, there's no way really down at the minute. Um, it comes around here, over to this area, and then just stops at the minute. <laughs> so you have to kind of end the ball up and down from this end, or you can get up by the house over there. Um, but I'm, I'm going to build, this is... Uh, the idea at the minute is to have a staircase which go runs down that way so you'll you'll end up on the floor somewhere around that area um, so yeah anyway getting back on track with the tour bit here um, so you would come up and you've got your viewing platform there and you'll be like oh very pretty good nice landscape and everything else uh, then you will turn around and this will be the exit to this what will eventually be an enclosed building here um, your exit won't be exactly here, I'm going to move it just along here a bit, so you come out like this, central. As you can see, this is so this is the, the water area, I've finished off all four sections, um, just one deep of water, um, and then we've got the fountain installed in the middle, it's quite a simple construction under there. It's just, oh, there you go, see it's just a few stone brick stairs and uh, and blocks going up and then just a single water block up the top there. Uh, nice little place to hide from Enderman if you get into trouble. <laughs> um, so yeah, you'll come in and that'll be all impressive. Obviously the you're going to have the whole mansion in the background there, so that should be a pretty good uh, view to walk into. Uh, and then you will have noticed over here as well the other thing, which I just randomly did, that you know, normally it would be more of a finishing off thing, but made the pool. <laughs> So we've got a heated pool. Um, I'm getting these glitches. You see that blue block there and along there? I don't know what that is. Because the water's 3D pour. You see that? See that? I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, so we've got a 3D pool. Glass and lava underneath. That took a while. I decided that's what I was going to do and then realised it's something like 120, 130 blocks of lava I needed. <laughs> that took a while. A few trips to the nether. And we got a diving board made up here. Whee! <laughs> yeah, so. This area has come along. Ha! Massively. So that's everything. That's mainly what I've been working on. So you got the pool. We got this area, which. Um, this is actually going to have some trees in it eventually. Uh, just to add some greenery um, and, a, you know, a bit of life. Uh, to the view as, as you walk in um, but I'm leaving the trees out for now because I figure as I build the mansion I'm going to want to um, get some nice views of it uh, overall how the exterior is looking and that and just putting the trees in now they might get in the way so I'll leave them for the time being at least um, but yeah pool that's going to be trees we've got the fountain area um, walkway around the edge here this wall needs chassing up but I've just put it in basically for the time being, like I say, just to get structure in place. And then if we go up to the top of the fountain here, this is a good place to, uh, if I can balance without getting sucked off. That's what she said. There we go. It's a good place to view the whole thing from uh, a bit higher up. Um, so, yeah, there you go. And in the main build area, you'll see on the mansion itself, not built much, but we've installed the layout here for the rooms so obviously main entrance in this area here um, and that's probably going to be if not the first then one of the first rooms we work on because uh, I know exactly what I want to do for that uh, but that's not going to be this episode so I won't tell you just yet <laughs> um, we, end, we have got a long thin room down there at the moment I've allocated that for a, a storage room I think that'll be ideal for a a kind of storage room. Um, there's a, another room at the back there and then 
roughly the same size. Those two rooms are exactly the same size. This one's just slightly bigger because of the way it worked out. Um, those... I haven't decided yet. I haven't finished planning it all out. You know, it's it's a work in progress. So I don't know. But obviously we've got rooms there which we can allocate. You know, you can have uh, anything you wanted. You know, you can have a farm or, a, you know, whatever. But uh, I'm thinking probably a lot of my farming will be done outside, in outside areas. Uh, crops, reeds, um, even the animals, stuff like that. So a lot of these rooms may end up being decorative. And of course we have a second floor as well, which I haven't even started planning. <laughs> but that, that bit there is where the staircase up will be. We're going to have a staircase up in the main room here. So you can obviously, when you enter the building, you can quickly get up to the second floor if you want. Um, and then as that's just basically a corridor along this sort of L-shaped bit here. That's a corridor. And then when you get to the end of that, there'll be a staircase there where you can also get upstairs. So obviously you don't have to go all the way back round uh, the other end of the building just to go upstairs. Ha! And then, if you will notice... What I've done is I've made all the walls here while I'm walking in between the walls now. They're all uh, three thick. So we have this one block wide cavity in between the walls. Um, and that's that's quite deliberate. That's what I wanted to do um, for two reasons. Number one, um, for the finished article, uh, it'll make it a lot easier to give me a wall cavity to run uh, stuff like wiring, you know, redstone wiring and things like that through. So, you know, if you want to have uh, lights in the walls, it's a hell of a lot easier if you've got a block behind to work with. Um, so that's one reason, and then the second reason is, uh, f certainly for the construction phase anyway, as you can see, it gives each uh, each room its own sort of... Damn Enderman! Git! <laughs> right, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> just I've told the missus about coming home unexpectedly when she knows I'm on the computer. <laughs> She's very lucky I was only playing Minecraft. Anyway, <laughs> now... What I was saying, I was talking about these walls, yes. So, what it means is, yeah, that during construction, uh, with each one having its own individual walls, uh, defining the, the, you know, the, the interior and, and edges of it, um, I'll be able to work on them separately from each other. Um, so I can be working on the storage room, but I can also be working on that one, and you know, or I can be working on that one and that one. And I don't have to wait to build the whole structure of the mansion before I can start filling rooms. That's the idea, anyway. Uh, so it gives us—it's uh, a little easier for me. It's more interesting for me. You know, I'm not—I'm not going to have to spend a month building the exterior. Harry, will you please stop scratching, boy? Damn dog. Thank you. I'm trying to talk to the people here. It's just looking at me. Ah, so, <laughs> yeah, I don't have to spe like build the whole uh, mansion before I can start filling rooms and everything else, you know. Um, so, uh, yeah, that works really well for me. Right, well, I think that shows you all the progress we've made. Um which I'm really happy with so far and I'm, I'm glad that I've got a nice little chunk done there for you because I, sometimes I do feel like not enough progress is being made <laughs> but uh, the main build is on look at this, it's unbelievable now the baby's set off crying will he settle back down? you never know doesn't help that I'm talking <laughs> so I've got a few more minutes so what we'll do is I'm actually going to tear this bit down here because I've realised that this roof was on too shallow of an angle. It needs to go up a little steepler. Steepler? <laughs> Steeper. Collect all my resources. I'm not particularly resource rich. I do have plenty of stone, but you don't want to be wasting stuff like the half slabs. I think I'm actually just going to have to pause again, guys. Sorry, but uh, just want to attend to the baby. <laughs> Bear with me. Right, sorry about that. <laughs> Needs must. Okay, so I think that's better. Yeah, and we want to take down this. Oh, 
take down this edge and with the remaining time that we have let's just try and get this up to the right angle because now I've got this front end figured out you see I know what to, I know what kind of height we need to go up to and I'd built this bit before I'd done that which was a bit dumb but I was just trying to get an idea <laughs> a feel for it in my head really of of where it would be going so we're gonna want some need some bricks build up that outer wall huh. bricks uh, yeah that'll do in fact do that my OCD requires me to have so many of my inventory slots filled up on, on my hotbar that <laughs> there's no room for building materials right so that ah yeah now that oh out this comes out separately to that and so do we want it I want it like oh no I think I actually want it like that yeah and one ab oh and one above actually one up from there one two three and I might replace that with a upside down stair. then that'll be fine steep to begin or no no that's not fine no I'd rather come across a bit then down and that's coming out that's coming out this way isn't it yeah okay so I won't in fact, if I have one there, whoop, spade that one. I won't need that one. Whoop. Yep. And that's got to be across there. This is what takes me so long. <laughs> Let's place one block and then like go 50 blocks away to have a look at it. <laughs> Walk back in, place one block. <laughs> um that's gonna wanna come I think I wanna add one there and there kinda steady smooth and steady but just rising up a little higher than what I had it before that should be good maybe one more there maybe one more there Let's let's do it right, and then on top of each of those will be one of those. And wherever there's a brick visible, we'll have to add another one. So it'll be like that, like that, like that, like that, and like that. Huh. That's better than what I had it before, definitely. And then, right, let's see if we can give you an idea here. So that'll be a two. And that'll be coming out and replaced with that. Then you're going to have, let's see, I think that would go across. Then they'd be there. That would be there. That like that. Mm-hmm. Is that a... That's a double one on there. So hard trying to do curves and things. <laughs> With uh, square blocks. Right, that... There, there, and there. Yes. Do those want to... Let's put those in. Do those want to be? I'm not sure. I'll leave it like that for now. Um, I'm aware of what I'm doing here, by the way. Um, like, these are half slabs. Obviously, there's a full block. That's a half slab, so that's not spawnable area. But that is, because that's, that's a full block there. Um, so I'm aware I'm creating spawnable area. 
so don't worry about that but I'm just gonna I want to get the structure in place and then we're gonna worry about uh, lighting and spawnable area and stuff like that afterwards so don't panic Ashley knows what he's doing kind of <laughs> right they're definitely gonna want to be there but we're probably rising up we are probably rising up there is that right? yeah yeah that's okay and then you probably just want one there I'll pop one in there and oh! should have grabbed more of these how unprofessional <laughs> I'm distracted plenty of them Yeah, that's looking right. And I can see immediately that that wants to be one. Yeah. They're going to want to be there. I'll leave that one a gap now. For now. I want this, this kind of raised bit to curve towards the middle here. Difficult thing to do. Difficult thing to do. It really is. All of these are going to want to I think at least come across from where they are so we can put those in there there and so I'm going to need one there might be able to take some of these out from underneath replace double ones with single ones um, after it's finished just to save a few blocks I'll see how it looks and obviously what the kind of headroom is like inside um, yeah I think that's giving you a good idea at least anyway. Let's have those built up. See like that. Oop. <laughs> anyway. That's as much time as I wanted to spend this episode anyway. So that gives you an idea. So what we're gonna end up with here is kind of it's almost like a crescent moon shaped building, this one. It's gonna be exactly the same on the other side there. All of this. Uh which will be tricky to get it match symmetrical and everything, but yeah, we'll do that. That's an off-camera job for sure. Um, and then obviously we're going to have this extra little bit out on this side so that when you walk out of that, you're walking right about here. Fountain right in front of you. Mansion behind that. you got the water, greenery. you got the red off the bricks. So it's a really colourful, vibrant uh, environment without being, you know, too garish. Um, and oh I tell you what I did forget to tell you about as well um, was the material because one of the one of the reasons that I had not begun my main project um, in so long and I spent you know I concentrated on things like the biome bar and the nether station and stuff like that before all of those things uh, was because I could not for the life of me decide about building materials um, and I eventually, quite a while ago, settled on the fact that I wanted to have some brick out here because um, it's not something that gets used very often and when it does it normally gets used in very small amounts like my little brick building over there or you know fireplaces in people's buildings and stuff like that. It's very difficult material to use um, en masse you know and like, like building a big a big structure like this out of it you know it just it's not right for that. Yeah, but I had this idea of using it for the flooring and um, I think it's worked out really well. I really like how it looks um, and that just gives it something a little bit different. So I like that. Where I was stuck was the, was the for the exterior mainly of the, of the mansion itself, not knowing what to do. And I've heard, um, Orson pointed this out to me, so thanks mate that in 1.5 there was a new building material so um, and that's going to be the focus. <laughs> so, spoiler alert, if you don't want to know, look away now. Yes, it's going to be that. Loads of that. <laughs> um, I don't know how difficult it's going to be to acquire, but I'm, I'm going to want lots of it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that sorted, so I'm happy to push on. Um, but we're going to have to wait for 1.5. Um, to do a lot of the exterior work on the mansion but that's fine because we have plenty to keep me amused until then so that just about brings the episode to a close I think 
Um, oh yeah, by the way, none of you got it right. I'm not a teacher. <laughs> uh, few random guesses. Box maker? I don't. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Um, but yeah, for what I do for a living, no, no, no one even came close. Which I told you you wouldn't. Um, for 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 all my sins, I'm a car salesman. But only for the next few weeks. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.